वेरी गुड इवनिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस साइड गोविंद अग्निहोत्री टुडे वी आर हैविंग अ न्यू लेक्चर लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व दिस इज द लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व ओके for the biomolecule okay and till the last lecture we have discussed about the nucleic acid formation and let's continue with it okay in that case here we are having nucleic acid in the last lecture we have discussed this topic once again i am telling you it's a nucleic acid okay the part particles of the particles of nucleic nucleus the cell responsible for the heredity are called chromosome nucleic acid are mainly two type deoxy ribonucleic acid that is your dna and ribonucleic acid that is your rna nucleic acid are long chain polymer of nucleotide so they are also called nucleotides so let's talk about the formation of nucleotide okay check it once properly nucleoside what is nucleoside children if we are talking about nucleoside and nucleotide in that case nucleoside <coughs> basically combination of base plus sugar sugar may be ribose it will be ribose or deoxy ribose base nitrogenous base nitrogenous base that combination is called nucleoside okay and what about nucleotide nucleotide children in the case of nucleotide basically base plus sugar plus phosphodiester that is the formation of nucleotide okay so this is the main difference you can check nucleoside this is for nucleoside base sugar base will be ribose or deoxyribose nitrogenous base nucleotide base sugar and phosphodiester that will be your nucleoside okay in that case chemical composition chemical composition of nucleic acid what is written here check it dna chemical composition of nucleic acid dna contains four bases adenine guanine cytosine and thymine if you remember in the last lecture we discussed about the nitrogenous base rna also contains four bases first three are the same but the fourth one is uracil so remember always thymine is only present in dna dna thymine and rna uracil remainings are same these are the different okay this is your adenine guanine cytosine thymine 
यूरासिल दीज आर द बेसिस ऑल द फाइव बेसिस आर रिप्रेजेंटेड हियर चेक इट वंस प्रॉपरली गाइस वंस अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू डी एन ए वट इज द कंपोजिशन ऑफ डी एन ए सो कंपोजिशन ऑफ डी एन ए वी आर टॉकिंग then it's very simple a t g c here one hydrogen bond and here in between this hydrogen bond in rna what we are having a u g c here hydrogen bond and here one hydrogen bond okay structure of nucleic acid a unit check it here a unit formed a unit formed by attachment of base to first position of sugar is known as nucleoside so that is your sugar this portion is your sugar and here base is attached how base will be attached by the removal of water okay so that is your base check it once everyone that is your base and it is your sugar it's a ribose sugar which sugar it is it's a ribose sugar how i identify with this o o is present then ribose o is not present then it is deoxyribose when nucleoside is linked to when nucleoside when nucleoside is linked to phosphoric acid at fifth position of sugar nucleotide is obtained so this is your sugar guys oh in rna and h in dna at the carbon number 2 what i am telling you at the carbon number 2 here 4 and here this one is carbon number 5th in that case this is the carbon number 5th here that phosphodiester is attached and here is your nitrogenous base so this is the formation of nucleotide this is the nucleotide structure of nucleotide it is the structure of nucleotide just simple okay so again i am telling you nucleotide what is the combination of nucleotide children base plus sugar plus phospho di ester what is nucleoside base plus sugar nucleotide are joined together by phosphodiester linkage what is written here joined by phosphodiester linkage between 5 and 3rd carbon atom of pentose sugar so formation of dinucleotide this is one nucleotide unit this is another nucleotide unit they will be joined by the phosphodiester linkage phosphodiester linkage so it is your what it is dinucleotide it is your dinucleotide next double strand helix structure of dna the two strands are the two what is written here the two strands are complementary to each other because the hydrogen bond are formed between a specific pair of bases check it this is the double helix this one okay double strand helix and here these are the bases present these are the bases present this is adenine this is one thymine 
शुगर फॉस्फोरस बैकबोन ओके एडिनिन एडिनाइन व्हाट इज रिटर्न हियर एडिनाइन फॉर्म्स हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड विद थाइमिन वेर एज साइटोसिन फॉर्म हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड विद ग्वानिन विद ग्वानिन आफ्टर दिस आई एम राइटिंग हियर चेक इट विद ग्वानाइन In secondary structure of RNA, helix are present, which are only single strand. Sometimes they fold back on themselves to form a double helix structure. Sometimes RNA molecule are of three type. They are messenger RNA. They are messenger RNA, mRNA. राइबोसोमल आर एन ए आर आर एन ए ट्रांसफर आर एन ए टी आर एन ए सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन चेक गाइज आर एन ए आर एन ए स्ट्रक्चर चेक इट वंस अगेन बायोलॉजिकल फंक्शन ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड डी एन ए वन बाई वन रीड डी एन ए is the chemical basis of heredity and it's the reserve of reserve of genetic information dna is responsible for the maintaining the identity of different species of organism over millions of year you know if something we are finding mm, means ancient time something then we are do the dna test a dna molecule is a capable of self duplication during cell division and identical dna is stand for transferred to daughter cell important function of nucleic acid is the protein synthesis in the cell the protein are synthesized by various rna molecule in the cell but the message for the synthesis of particular protein is present in dna so these are the biological function of nucleic acid i hope it is clear to you that nucleic acid <clears throat> now come to the next topic that is enzyme enzymes are known as biological catalyst all the reaction occur in the body under very mild conditions what what is written here they have written that very mild condition occurs with the help of certain bio catalyzed called enzyme what is called called enzyme the enzyme that catalyzes hydrolysis of maltose into glucose is named as maltase this is your maltase c12 h22 11 and it is catalyzes into two unit of glucose and here that maltase enzyme is present the enzyme which catalyzes the oxidation of one substrate with simultaneously reduction of another substance are named as oxy oxido reductase enzyme oxido reductase enzyme enzyme are needed only in a small quantity for the progress of a reaction enzyme reduce the magnitude of activation energy some more example if you want then i can give you i have the example boys girls so check the another example few more example
Mm, what is not working, boys? Wait. Here only I will give. Some more example. Like lactase. For lactose. Invertase. Mm, urease for urea. Trypsin, these are the another example of enzymes. Now come to the vitamins. Vitamins, certain organic compounds that are required in a small quantity in our diet, but their deficiency causes specific diseases called vitamins. Okay. Classification of vitamins. Vitamins are classified into two groups depending upon their solubility in water and fat. Fat soluble and water soluble. So it's a small small things. You know that the, these kind of things. Vitamin A, B, C, D, E, K, 1, H also. So this time guys, this chapter is fully completed. Biomolecule. I hope it is understood to you. This chapter is completed, boys. So we have finished biomolecule now. Last topics I covered very fast because these are the theoretical portion only. For the neat aspirants, it is easy. You can understand this DNA enzyme and vitamins and all. So biomolecules completed. Next day onwards, we will start a new chapter. Till that, thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. This side, your chemistry faculty, Govind Agnihotri. All the best.